but I do believe that football and contact sports and team sports teach you about stuff. I think it helps you learn how to work when you're tired. Like, I think that's something that people don't, don't do sports, get to truly experience. And whenever they get later in their life, when they get a little bit tired, they haven't been forced either by their peers or a coach to power through that incredible fatigue and kind of perform at a high level. I think sports helps you with that, whether it's a game or the practice or the training. I think that is something that that peer pressure of having to make it, even though your whole body wants to quit and die, I think that's something that you can't learn in a lot of places. And that's why I enjoy team sports. And by the way, that's why my kid is going to play quarterback in the NFL someday. Why Why quarterback? Just because you want to make all the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, yeah, dad wants to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You know what it does physical, like playing combat sports, it, it teaches you like, oh, you thought you knew what, exhaustion was what it felt like to be tired and it's one thing to be tired and have to power through and run a mile or something it's another thing to be dead tired where your whole body and your brain saying like hey you're done like sit on the ground like you you can't breathe your legs hurt so bad and then you got to push through for another hour and a half of physical contact where you know like i can't just throw my head in there i gotta bring it or i'm gonna get killed like i think it teaches you to push through those things so it makes everything else in life a lot easier you ever run into somebody in the hole it looks like this aj <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I would have done very well. How much you weigh right now? I don't know, buddy. I'm scared to get on the scale, to be honest with you. <laughs> Are you? Because after the fall, I was up 30 from the fall. Then Were I, you really up 30? You told me that. I don't believe you. Yeah, I was 265 or something like that by the Jeez. end of fall. I was very large. Very. You could see it. You could see it here. The so what are you at now then? You got to be like 230? No, I think I'm like 250 right now So because I was down 20. So I was, down, I was on a sharp decline. I was getting fit. I could see my jawline again. And then I got locked down, and my lady became this incredible baker. I mean, and I got, I just got massive amounts of things at the house at all times. And then Easter happened. You know, Jesus yep. came out of that cave, so those eggs come around. And then it just hasn't stopped. It's been a nonstop. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the problem with you, you're always going to weigh a lot. You're going to weigh more than you look because let's say you're 250 pounds right now. I'd say 222 of that is in your lower half. Good call. I mean, let's not get crazy, but good call. <laughs> you know what I'm built? I'm built like a barrel. So you see this, like torso-wise? So anytime I get a little fat on me, you see it when I have to sit down for my job. Unless I have that perfect patty posture that some people, I don't know how people do it, how they like. It's hard to do it for like five or six hours a day, like when you're on camera. Well, today we're going to talk about sports and sit perfectly like this. On I don't know how. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Play good, pay good, pay good, live good, live good, die good.